Hey, what's up everyone? Here's a quick tutorial on how to do hammer-ons and pull-offs. And I'll have some stuff at the end, uh, how to combine them and do some extra stuff. So let's start with the hammer-ons. And all these are basically when you play two notes, one after the other, um, always ascending. And you pick the first note, but then you hammer the second one on like that. So I only pick once. And um, it's important to use the tip of your finger, so not like the, um, not the flat part, but the very, very tip up here, not there. It's important to use that part, and keep your finger curved and, like, stiff, too, kind of like you're doing, like, the claw, so you have all your muscles flex in there. That's so you don't bend at the knuckle when you hammer on that second note. So... So once you get a good feel for that, try it on, on down the strings. Um, if you know the pentatonic scale, you can actually just use that, um, using your pinky for those eighth frets. Switching to the ring finger. That kind of thing. So um, that's basically it for the hammer-ons. Um, for pull-offs, it's kind of the opposite. Um, so we'll start on the seventh fret and then go pull off to the fifth fret. So for pull-offs, we'll start on the seventh fret, pick it once, and with your first finger already on the fifth fret, you're gonna pull the ring finger off. So. So I'm kind of pulling off to the side and up a little bit. It's not so important on the E string, but once you start trying to pull off on um, the B string or any of the other strings where there's another string in the way of that, of where you're going to pull off to, uh, you can sometimes hit that string on accident and cause a, a note to go off. But, but if you just kind of work on on pulling to the side and up away from the guitar so that way that you that'll alleviate that problem and same thing you can practice that uh, different fingers just with your pinky ring and your um, middle finger you can use uh, any scale you know the pentatonic scale works pretty good so um, yeah you can use this descending kind of pattern. And do some fun stuff like that. Um, you can also stack stack notes like this. Like uh, you can pull off the eighth fret to the fifth fret and then open. You can do stuff like that. Um, you can mix in some hammer-ons at the end of those pull-offs, like... So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or song suggestions, drop them in the comments. And like and subscribe for weekly updates of videos.